Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. So today is another What's My Makeup Bag March edition. And to be honest, I was kind of in two minds about whether I should film this or not because quite a few of your items um, are things that I've already made a dent in in the past two months that I wanted to use up. Let's start with the bases. So the first base that I've actually used up and I'm not going to speak about in this video is the NARS Tinted Moisturiser because I've already spoken about it enough. If you want to know more about it, check out my other videos. The second base is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the shade Golden Beige and I actually put this in my Drugstore 2017 Favourites video because it's so affordable it's a really really good base the only thing is I did say in that video that it was like a dewy finish it's not I'm not sure why I said that it's more of a matte finish definitely and that's why I actually really like it so for me first of all it's a very good skin tone match as you can see with the rest of my body it matches really well it's a very nice olive tone foundation which is so rare to find especially in a drugstore I especially like it though because the coverage is really nice but also it's very good for when I want to wear makeup to work and I want a base that will last me the whole day. Most bases on me, especially the Nars Tinted Moisturiser, will get shiny in my sort of T-zone, especially in my nose area towards like the middle of the day. I don't have time to touch up when I'm at work so I want a foundation to last really well. I've never really been into matte foundations but since I started working like really long hours and full time if I'm going to wear a foundation, I prefer to wear something that's got a little bit more longevity and matte foundation just work really well. Obviously, if you've got dry skin, it might not be the best thing for you, but I definitely recommend giving it a go. It's about 6 or $7. It's very, very affordable. The only issue, obviously, is that you can't get it in the UK easily, which is a shame, but I'm going to leave a blog post down below explaining how I get my hands on US drugstore makeup so yeah definitely check that out if you're interested now the concealers of the month for me have been an interesting one they've been my all-time favorite concealers the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancers I have raved about these for years um, I've used them for a very very long time a tiny bit goes a long way but what was interesting to me actually was the fact that number one I've been using so many different concealers over the last two to three months that I've just not used these and I had to kind of train myself to get back into using them. They're very very different to your typical concealer. They're a lot more thick, a lot more creamy and also because of the coverage I actually ditched my corrector this month which I never normally do even with these but I just thought I don't have time to be sitting there colour correcting and putting this concealer on and with this concealer you always have to set it properly. So I was like I don't have time to do like a four step under eye routine, that's ridiculous. Um, so yeah I I've got, went back into using these and um, for a week I was just using 08 by itself and actually it was looking far too yellow so 08 is definitely a better shade for me for like around my mouth today I used it just to sort of cover up some discoloration and like ashiness around my mouth I have 07 which looks like this and this is my perfect sort of everyday under the eye colour it's just it's not too yellow and it's also not pinky. It's a really good in between shade and it's a perfect shade in terms of like brightening. I also have 06 as well, which is what I whip out for a special occasion when I want a really highlighted look. I really love these. They have the best coverage on the market that I've tried personally and a tiny bit goes a long way. So they're so worth the money. I just found it a bit weird how, although I've loved it for so long, it took me a while to get back into the swing of using it and uh, remembering how best to use it is definitely to use your fingers to warm it up and then go in with a damp sponge to remove excess product because otherwise it creases like crazy. Now for my under eyes, again, I've been trying to use up the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Instant Mark Duo. I have literally hit so much pan on this. I've almost got to a stage where I can't pick up any yellow without picking up some of the brown shade. I actually think that I pretty much use this now. I'm going to try and use it for the rest of this week and then I'm going to switch over to the Primark Pressed Banana Powder which I'm really excited to try. Now as I said with the Kevin Aucoin Essential Skin Enhancer Concealer you have to set it properly and for me that means a little bit of a light bake so I have been using the PS Setting Powder which says it's ideal for baking. Um, I've also been using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder but actually for me as a Stromboli skin tone this is too yellow for me to use by itself so I like these two mixed together on an everyday basis that's not possible really it's just too much of a faff um, so I've just been using this but I think in the future I'm gonna try and get like a little pot and just mix them in together myself because that will just save me some time they work really well together and I think this was like five pounds and this is three pounds so eight pounds for like a really big 
powder that works really well is an amazing price to me. Okay, moving on to the eyebrows now. I've been, again, using up my Colourpop brow pencils because I've got quite a few that I've been floating about and I really like that for an everyday basis. I've also been trying to use my Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. This is what it looks like. The reason why I don't love these and I prefer the Anastasia ones is that these dry out so much quicker than the ABH ones to me. I know ABH are really, really expensive, but they've lasted me for such a long time. Um, obviously, I do put in like a mixing fluid to make this a bit less dry and cakey, but it's okay. It does the job. I've used it on my eyebrows today, and then on top of that, I'm trying to use up the Kiko Eyebrow Mascara, which has coloured fibres in it as well. This is in the shade 05. I do really, really like this. I feel like it always gives my brows a bit more of a natural finish, um, and it makes the hairs look more like hairs less and less like they've been drawn on. So yeah, I do really like this. I'm coming to the end of this actually, um, and. I would like to pick up another one in the future, but I also have the Essence ones to use up and I love those. Those are the benefit dupes. Okay, onto my cheeks now. So the bronzer of choice for this month has been the Topshop Mohawk bronzer, which again, I've used already and spoken about before. It's just my perfect all-time bronzer ever. I've hit pan, but I really want to just use this up because it's just, it's so good and I've also got quite a few backups. Um, and then my blushes of the month have been my trusty NARS blushes again. This is one of my palettes that I absolutely love. This is the NARS Stephen Klein palette. And I always recommend people to pick up a NARS palette rather than picking up individual products because you get so much bang for your buck with these. So I've got a huge Laguna in here. Um, I've also got like an Android setting powder. Don't tend to use this too much, but I do sometimes um, if it's the only thing I've got. I use these three all the time. I don't really use this one. This one, it looks okay, but it's just not the best for my skin tone. Whereas these three are amazing. And I literally just mix mix and match them. So because obviously like March is supposed to be the start of spring. Bizarrely, we've had so much snow in the UK that it hasn't felt like a spring. It's felt like winter, but you know, it's supposed to be the start of spring. So I've been kind of using a lot of this shade, which is Lustre here. Um, I'm mixing it with Dolce Vita um, and also this shade is called Blasphemy, don't like that name at all but it's a really lovely shade um, especially when mixing and like I always say about NARS blushes, they're the best on the market, I've not tried anything better. I do want to try some other brands as well but I have so many NARS blushes because I can really stand behind them, they last for a very long time in their pans because you only need a little bit. And on the skin, they last for a long time too. And for me personally, like, I can't do my makeup without putting a bit of blush on. I couldn't just put on, like, bronzer and highlighter and, and leave it at that. Like, I need a little bit of colour to my face. I feel like it just adds a little bit more personality, a little bit more pizzazz. So, yeah, loving those. And then my highlighter of the month has been the Laura Gala Gilded Honey, which was huge, like, two years ago. Uh, mine has had a lot of love. As you can see, it's looking pretty battered. And this is just the most beautiful, true gold highlighter shade. Um, obviously, I've shown you guys putting on, but that's it on my finger there. It's a proper, proper gold. And if I just swatch that... There we go. I absolutely love this. And the, because I have this one, this has been the main reason why I've not splurged and got the Amrizi one because there's only so many highlighters you really need. Because I have so many palettes from Anastasia and then I have so many single highlighters and now I have the Huda Beauty highlighter palette, I've just really felt like I need to use up what I have um, rather than keeping on buying more things. And honestly, guys, this has been the third month that I've been doing this monthly makeup bag and it's literally helped me so much with not splurging on makeup because shopping your stash is so so exciting and seeing what you have and seeing how it works and you know it's just so much more fulfilling to me now than putting placing a big order online so yeah I'm massively loving Gilded Honey also they've actually come out with a liquid version which I saw on Safiya Sasneen's Instagram yeah she spoke about the liquid version of this and it looks perfect it looks so so golden and beautiful so I definitely want to pick that up in the future oh before I started my foundation I actually applied the revolution liquid highlighter in the shade euphoric gold um, on top of my moisturized skin because the foundation is pretty matte I thought this would be really nice to you wear underneath and I've actually really been liking this it does add a little bit of a glow to your skin it's really nice on top as well and what I most like about this is that it's a proper golden shade and this is euphoric gold um, so whether you use it underneath foundation or on top or mixing with your moisturizer this is lovely 
very affordable you only get 18 milliliters but you don't really need a lot to be honest so i've definitely been enjoying that Okay, moving on to the eyes. So the one palette I've been using all month has been the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is a palette that I've already done a first impressions on. I will leave a link below. And I've also shown you guys a pair of one pound eBay lashes, which were really nice. This is what the palette looks like, in case you haven't seen that. And it's just lovely. I mean, I've been using it every single day. Mainly I've been using these two shades in the crease and then either this shade or this shade or this shade, like all over the lid as the basic everyday look. Obviously the look I'm wearing right now is nowhere near a look that I would wear um, on a daily basis in March but I wore a similar look to this when I went to London to meet some of the girls and I really just love this palette for creating the look. It's just got a really beautiful array of shades, you've got a very good mix of mattes and satins and then you've got some beautiful sort of more foil texture shadows which have the most amazing pigment as well the one thing that i personally think is missing from it is like a matte bone or white color shade which i do like to have for like correcting when i've over blended or for the brow bone but otherwise i think it's a lovely palette yeah i have really been enjoying just using one palette but i am also looking forward to going back to using my single shadows next month and then eyeliner and mascara so i've actually been using the illamasqua pot gel liner on the days when obviously i don't have work when you're on a tight schedule you don't really want to be faffing around with gel liner but i've been using this every time i've been doing my makeup a little bit more fancy and i actually really do like it it's very very creamy very pigmented and it's more pigmented than like a pen liner however the longevity is not as great as the inglot 77 and then mascara i can't remember if i was still using this last month or not but really i tend to use my mascaras like on and off and i know you should just use one and stick to it and then get rid of it after a couple of weeks but um anyway i've been using the essence lash princess mascara this is okay i actually want to try the one with the blue lid because that's supposed to be more waterproof this is fine it just doesn't hold a curl very well but it is um definitely a decent enough mascara in my opinion and then lashes this month i've actually really really been loving the kiss lashes in the style ritzy natural black i'm just showing you the case here but i did do a little close up before i put them on my eyelashes today they look like this. They are definitely more of a natural style, which I really like. They've actually made the length of the lashes, some of them short, some of them longer, to make them look more natural. Today, I put mascara on top to give them a little bit more oomph, but you can definitely wear them just by, by itself with a little bit of eyeshadow and it can look super, super natural. So yeah, Kiss is a really cool brand available in Boots, Superdrug. This is not sponsored, but their lashes are pretty, pretty awesome. And then for lips, actually, you guys, I haven't really been sticking to one or two products i've really just been mixing up with lips sometimes i think you just have to do that the one thing i have been testing though is the asos lip pencil and annoyingly i've looked around and around and around and i just cannot find the name of this if i can manage to figure out which one this is from my order then i'll put the name here um but yeah i was very intrigued to try the asos own brand products um i just thought it was a very brave move of them and this is what the lip pencil looks like it's got a twisty up sort of design which is good because you don't need a sharpener and what i do like actually is that it's got this bit at the end which basically you take off the end and then you can sharpen the pencil as well okay so hopefully you can see that so you, i've twisted it up and then you just put the cap on and you sharpen as you can see some of it's come off oh there we go makes it look a little bit more sharper, a little bit more precise and easier to line the lips with. So in terms of design and functionality, I think they did a very good job. These are about five quid. Formula though is not my favourite. I prefer a lip planner that's a little bit more creamy and a little bit more pigmented. This to me, you kind of have to work it to build it up, which is fine, but I just think there's better lip planners out there. It's not bad for five quid though. So I've been using that to line my lips and then I've just been using, like I said, a variety of different shades. I've been going for my Colourpop. I've also been going back to Kat Von D and this is the shade Double Dare, which I'm wearing today. This is the first shade I'm wearing today. Really, really flattering pink shade. If you've got an olive medium skin tone, I really recommend you pick it up because it is beautiful. It just adds a punch of colour into your day and a lot of the times for work actually I've been wearing this and just a little bit of blush and a little bit of shadow and that's it. And it just adds a little bit more 
oomph into your look and it kind of just lifts me up actually it's one of those shades so really really nice wearable pink I don't love pinks but I do really like this shade and actually then sometimes on top of this if I feel like that's a little bit too bright for that day I've been going in with a Primark and um, this is their nudes collection and yeah it's like a really nice nude shade so today I put it on top and just in the middle of my lips on top of Double Dare from Kat Von D and actually it does a really good job at just making your lips look a bit plumper and giving a little bit more shape and volume to the lips so yeah I have really been enjoying that and that has been everything in my March monthly makeup bag like I said there's quite a few things I repeated I say about half the time I was wearing makeup that I was very already really familiar with but I just wanted to use up and yeah I'm still loving the whole concept I don't feel restricted by it at all because you know if I want to change my lip shade up I will it just means that I'm actually finishing up product and it's something that I've become really passionate about. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, you know what to do. I'm not gonna remind you. <laughs> I will see you in my next one. Bye.